Have you noticed that the needle that's used to draw up a medication is never the same needle that's used to inject it? There are several very good reasons for this. Firstly, going through the rubber stopper of the vial makes the needle more blunt, so using the same needle to go through the skin would make it more painful. Some medications are also very thick, so you would need a smaller gauged needle to get them out of the vial as quickly as possible. And yes, to make things more confusing, smaller gauged needles have a bigger diameter, so an 18 gauge needle can be used to draw up medications, while a 25 gauge needle can be used to inject them. And as you can imagine, when the needle is inserted into the vial, some of the medication coats the surface of the needle. If this needle is then used to inject into a muscle or vein, traces of the medication would end up going into subcutaneous tissues, potentially causing a lot of irritation. Filter needles should be used when drawing medication from a glass vial to filter out any tiny pieces of glass. Injecting with the same needle would push all the microscopic pieces of glass that were filtered back out of the needle and into the patient, making the use of the filter needle pointless.